Hello everyone, this is Sensei Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Monkey Island Chapter 5. Well, you may have noticed last time I was stalling for time, I was wanting to go through every single conversation option what? from these cutscenes. Oh. But I also <laughs> honestly did get hung up on one thing I thought I had done, but hadn't. Lanikins! See, timing is very important. So here we have to ask Elaine to attack uh, Lechuk. A help here. I'm on it, sweetie. And wait for him to attack us. And then that gives us the time to grab the keys we need from under the ship. <laughs> Would you mind inspecting me hull for me? Oh, it's full of holes. We should really take her into port. Get a nice mug of grog. Let's talk about the good old days. I think today will become my good old days. Stop it, you monstrous maggot mating ground! <laughs> Elaine, not even you and your flimsy sword can stop me now. Watch me try! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done with you. Mine better. How'd he get up there? It's so cute watching my dear Elaine swing that sore about that curtain. Ah! <sighs> hey, there's Mr. Winslow. And we do have to wait for him to get back up here for the next part. Come here! What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're here. Quit making a mess! I'm gonna swab my deck with your scraggly excuse for a beard! Elaine! Brush? Place the cannon again! I'm on it, sweetie. Plunder Bunny! Pickaroony! Hey, is it weird that I thought you were a little sexy when you were all boxed up? What? I mean, does that mean I'm secretly a little attracted to LeChuck? Focus! Sweetie. Won't let me walk or do anything, but wait to get smacked around. Cannon fire would go great with these multiple concussions. You got it, love. All right, and now we'll use that with the barrel. Ah, seesaw. Let's see. Ha. Huh. Ah. <sighs> 
It's a giant demonic cannon of doom. It would be just big enough for me to hide in. Won't help us much here, unfortunately. How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! Okay, didn't have quite have the timing down that time. Uh, Elaine! Guy Bush! Be careful! You be careful! Ah! A seesaw. Let's see. Ha! Huh. Chuck's giving me a bit of the business. We need to trap him, Guybrush! Oh, you two can get cozy together when I'm done giving Threepwood his painful and permanent farewell into the afterlife. Ow! Well, this is a far, far better thing I do than Ooh. I've ever done before. Guybrush! What are you doing? It's the only way. What? Yeah! You! Is it over? Hello? Did we win? I guess we did. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like all the portals to the Most of the ways out of the pirate afterlife have been destroyed. Nothing left but the center. Uh, the center of the crossroads. Guess I'm stuck here for good now. Well... I wonder if one of these keys will unlock that drawer on the desk that Elaine bought from the yard sale. Eh, uh, probably not. Well... The one item we've had most of the game, the one item we haven't used yet, and the one connection we have regarding a promise that we made that even death can't defy. Courage, anchor, direction, sacrifice. Place these things in a ring at the center of the crossroads. Ha! Ah, clever. Wow! What a rush! Hey, my hand is back! Oh. Guybrush! Oh, it's about time! It is? Wait, you were expecting me? But I was dead. Is that why you gave me- You should know enough to trust me by now, Guybrush Streetfoot. But you asked LeChuck to make you a demon bride. How did you know I would be able to bring you back from that? After all these years and all of our adventures, two things are certain. That I always have a plan. And that Guybrush Threepwood will always come for me when I need him most. You'll always be the shiver in my timbers. And that's it. <laughs> Apparently. Well, no, there is a little bit after this, but, uh, yeah. That's the anticlimactic ending of Tales of Monkey Island. So, yeah, I, I don't mean to harp on this. I've noted this a few times playing through this, but... 
I think it's pretty clear why this game was uh, not well regarded by most of the old school Monkey Island fans and why pretty much all of it gets ignored in Return to Monkey Island. Apart from a few nods here and there. And why there was so much concern when the game came out and they found out Ron Gilbert was involved in designing it. You know, how much of this is canon? You know, is Curse of Monkey Island canon? Is Escape from Monkey Island canon? I think that's the only thing that's definitively canon is Curse, given Elaine and Guybrush do get married. They make reference to the cursed wedding ring and the presence of Murray. I mean, all in all... I know, I've been harping on it. I really don't mean to be, but... This game had a much higher frustration factor than any of the other Monkey Island games, because there really wasn't any way for you to go and explore and work other things. It was very linear. You had to do all the puzzles in a certain order. You had to get all the items in a certain order. There wasn't really a set way to just go about, wander, do your business, let things circulate in the back of your head and come back to things later. That being said, you know, the voice acting, pretty solid. The puzzles were not entirely impossible for the most part although the last one is literally just click on everything and the one item you have left until you figure out what you need to do through sheer dumb oh it was the whole prophecy thing we don't remember anymore about the ring oh and franklin the dog as himself So, yeah, I think it's pretty clear why Telltale didn't wind up doing a second round of Tales of Monkey Island. Because, honestly, the LucasArts philosophy didn't really fit well with them. And I know that's funny, coming from me who's played so many of the other Telltale games, including the Sam and Max ones, which were serviceable. And the Batman one, which was, well, an interesting take on the Batman mythology, but here, it just didn't seem to click. At least not in the way that it did with the crew they assembled for Return to Monkey Island. And I do have to point out the one other thing, you know, the Cardinal Sin of this game, it had absolutely nothing to do with Monkey Island. The, the actual Monkey Island, not the game Monkey Island, but... Bubbles the Plastic Dinosaur on loan from the Tube T family. But, yeah, you know, I'm glad I finally played through this and got this recorded for posterity. But wait, there's more. So, my child, have you done as I asked? I have. Now for your end of the deal. Yes, your actions have influenced your fate. I will allow your ghostly form to return to the physical realm to carry on as a fearsome pirate hunter. Ghost pirate hunter, Morgan LaFlay. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Perhaps. You have chosen your own fate. Now go. There is much work to be done before the tides of destiny shift again. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. Hint that the voodoo lady is doing something nefarious again, and Morgan is walking the land of the living as a ghost pirate hunter. And nothing came of this in Return to Monkey Island. So, uh, yeah. There's your Easter egg that is never going to pay off. Kind of like 
about a quarter of the Marvel Cinematic Universe post credit scenes at this point. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you are so inclined, and we will pick up with some other adventure next time. Take care until then.